Hey guys, Jamie here. Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. The Redmi 9 is one of the most affordable smartphones that you can buy right now. And as expected of Xiaomi, it sports some really great hardware for its price. But the question here is, how does it handle some of the most played games on the Google Play Store? That's exactly what we're going to be finding out in this video. Before we jump in, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Lazada. They'll be having their bounce back sale on July 15th, so that's two days from now, where you can get the Redmi 9 or other Xiaomi smartphones like the Poco F2 Pro at really great price points. Personally, Leia and I are already eyeing some stuff for the house, and if I were you, I'd find the best deals for the things that you need, add them to your cart right now so you're ready to check out once the sale goes live. You're also getting free shipping during the bounce back sale and as a bonus guys, you can also use the voucher code that's on screen right now to get 500 pesos off on a minimum purchase of 5,000 pesos. Again guys, Lazada's biggest bounce back sale happens this July 15th. Happy shopping and now let's get back to the rest of the video. As I said, the Redmi 9 has an impressive spec sheet despite its sub 10k price tag, so let's go over some of its key features. But if you want to skip the recap guys, jump to the timestamp that's currently on screen to get right into the gameplay. At the heart of this smartphone beats the MediaTek Helio G80 processor. It's an SoC that we've seen in a few smartphones already, but if my memory serves me correctly, this is the first time I'm seeing it in this price segment. I currently have the base model with me for our review purposes that has 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, but I highly suggest spending a little bit more money if you can swing it in your budget to get the 464 variant so you have a little bit more wiggle room to multitask plus keep more media and apps on your device. Something that I kind of neglect doing for these gaming reviews is to show you guys some benchmark scores and here are the results of a couple of tests we've run so far. I'll give it some breathing room just in case you're into the numbers but feel free to pause the video in case you need a bit more time to check it out. Now one big surprise for me when checking out the Redmi 9 was the display. It measures in at 6.53 inches which is pretty common nowadays but you're actually getting it at full HD plus resolution while other smartphones are usually stuck at 720p in this price range. I definitely appreciate the pixel density of the device to give you sharper images and so far I've been pretty happy with the viewing experience of this phone as well. The contrast ratio and color saturation are pretty much what you would expect from a panel in a budget-friendly device, but I do have to mention that I do have it set to display more vivid colors to give it an additional pop. Rounding out the key specs that I want to highlight in this video is the battery capacity of the Redmi 9 that's at 5,020 milliamp hours. Now I haven't been able to run my battery benchmarks just yet, but in my experience guys, the massive battery should be enough for two days worth of juice or about a day and a half, but of course your mileage may vary depending on how much you game on your smartphone. Alright guys, without any further ado, let's get to the gameplay starting off with some NBA 2K20. Okay, so I currently have all the settings maxed out for the footage that you're seeing and that's how I run benchmark tests as well, courtesy of our friends over at GameBench, but I do recommend bumping down the graphics to about mid to high. At these settings though, I got an average of 37 frames per second at 83% stability, which should be a good indication that if you bump down the settings, it will run a whole lot smoother. Let's move on to the next game, which is Marvel Super War. I do have to apologize to you guys, I suck at MOBA so don't let that distract you from the fact that we got pretty good results here. I bumped the settings down to high for this title and I got an average of 59 frames per second at 97% stability. Now I pushed it to very high off camera but noticed frame rates drop too often so this would be the sweet spot in my opinion and will hopefully let you win games unlike me. On to the next game which is Call of Duty Mobile.
Graphics for COD Mobile are pretty much stuck at low graphics quality and medium frame rates, so we're pretty much stuck at 30 FPS max, and that's exactly what the average was, and we got 99% stability too. Now I should mention that while you're seeing Team Deathmatch footage, the test was run during a Battle Royale game. Speaking of which guys, the last game on the list, PUBG Mobile. Now before we talk about the frame rates, I ran this without GFX tool so you guys can see what out of the box performance is like for PUBG and it was pretty good. I also got an average of 30 frames per second at 99% stability with a graphics set to HD and high frame rates and I have a feeling you can push it further with the aforementioned third party software. Now overall guys, for a phone that costs 6,990 pesos or 6,490 if you happen to catch it during the Lazada bounce back sale, it's not bad at all. But I do recommend spending the extra money to get the configuration with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. That's 7,490 when it's off sale so that you have more room to play with, especially in the storage department. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Thank you for spending some time with me. I do appreciate you guys dropping by and watching this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph+. Plus, follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace, God bless. See you guys next time, and stay safe.